What's going on guys, gitchy 1230 here with episode 50 of GTA 5 Talk. Guys, thank you for an amazing first 49 episodes. Uh, this series has actually gone very, very well, and a lot of you guys love this, and I just, I really want to thank you for all the support you've given me, and given my channel and my videos thus far. And, uh, I've got loads more planned as Grand Theft Auto 5 comes out, so I just want to give you guys a thank you for making this series what it's become, and it's, uh, it's a community-driven show, and it's all because of you guys. So thank you so much for that, but without any further ado, Today's topic was submitted by Ryback, and he said, Can you talk about Area 69, please? And that was a top-rated comment with 53 thumbs up, and that's also been submitted to me for a very, very long time, and, uh, really, I don't know why I waited so long to cover it, so that is gonna be the topic for today's 50th episode. But, real quick, before we get into that, I want to tell you about my buddy's channel, Rockstar's Player. He uploads all the latest news, and with the release of Grand Theft Auto V, he's going to be uploading a lot of HD gameplay. And he's also working on a new series, which is basically a GTA V character profile series, where he describes the interesting individuals of GTA V and tells you all about them. And then with the release of GTA V, he's also going to be covering vehicle guides, weapon locations, his highly anticipated Let's Play series, and more. So guys, I highly suggest you guys subscribe to his channel. Please check it out with the annotation on the screen or in the description below, but now without any further ado, let's get into the Area 69 discussion. So to start it off, I would have to say that Area 69 was one of the coolest things about Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. It was an awesome easter egg, even though it wasn't that hidden. You know, if you go flying in the desert, you will find it, but it was hidden enough to be a challenge and it held some really cool things inside of it. Now as we all know, when you went inside of it, or if you flew too low, you would get a 5 star wanted level, and then that would send the police after you, and even the military. They would get in their hydras, they would chase you down, they would even shoot missiles at you. But if you could get in and get out and get away, there were some cool rewards that could be reaped from Area 69. Things such as a jetpack, multiple weapon spawns such as a minigun and a spaz 12, body armor, health spawns, and just things like that. And then even on top of that we had hydras, we had the rhino tanks, we had night vision goggles, and just random vehicles. It was very cool. So needless to say, Area 69 was just an awesome part of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. It played a role in the storyline as well, and it was a fun little place to check out, roam around, and uh, basically explore and, you know, try to get away. So now with the release of Grand Theft Auto 5, we are back in San Andreas, and now people are wondering, will we see the return of Area 69? Well, there are a few points that I want to mention in trying to decide whether it will or will not be in. The first thing, and maybe the most important thing, is the fact that Area 69 was located in the Las Venturas area. Now, the reason that this is a problem is that there is no real evidence of Las Venturas being in the game. You know, we had it in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, but all we really know about at this point is Los Santos and the surrounding Blaine County countryside. So, assuming that Area 69 is in GTA, GTA 5, there are two possibilities. One, Rockstar has put Las Venturas in the game and is keeping it entirely secret for almost. However, I think that is kind of unlikely, you know, that we haven't heard about it yet. I think that uh, what we see, or what we know about rather, so far is what we're going to get. Blaine County and Los Santos. So what they might do is just kind of draw a, a bit of a disconnect from the previous story and just throw Area 69 off into Blaine County, you know? It wouldn't necessarily match up with the previous story, you know, in San Andreas and it being in Las Venturas, however, that wouldn't really matter to me. As long as we have an Area 69, you know, I would love that. I don't care where it's at, where it was, and, uh, you know, I just want to see it in the game, so if they throw that out in the middle of the desert, I will personally be very happy. Okay, but don't worry, if you hear that and you're thinking, oh gosh, maybe now it's not gonna be in the game, well, I've got a little bit more of evidence that could maybe turn you around on that and say, hey, you know what, it is in the game. Recently, the achievements for GTA 5 were leaked on the internet, and I made a video about it uh, quite a few weeks ago, but one of the achievements, this may or may not be a spoiler, so if you're not into spoilers, maybe you want to click off the video, but uh, I'm going to say it, there's an achievement called From Beyond the Stars. Now, the icon for this achievement is a UFO, and the description is collect and return all spaceship parts. So guys, that is definitely really, really weird, and definitely points to the fact that Area 69 could indeed in, uh, be in the game, because you know, in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, there was a large alien connection to the whole Area 69 thing. There were UFOs around the area, like the one restaurant thing or the shop or whatever it was. And, uh, you know, there's just a large alien influence on the entire thing. So we at least have proof that there are some sort of aliens or UFOs in GTA 5. But the question is now, how is that going to play into it? And uh, is it going to be in Area 69? Is there going to be Area 69? I think that that is definitely a good indicator that Area 69 is in fact in the game. So now, just to kind of sum it up, assuming that Area 69 is in fact in GTA 5, what do we think could be housed inside? 
I think we'd all love to see the jetpack make a return. There's no reason for them to not add it. Using a jetpack in Los Santos would be a ton of fun, flying up on top of the Vinewood sign and everything. But then what else? We could also have secret military vehicles, or maybe even, I don't know, like an underground UFO. That would be like the ultimate Easter egg. Uh, some people might think that's too far, too much kind of like Saints Row or something, and they wouldn't want to see that. But personally, you know, I say throw it in, it would make it fun. So there are a lot of different ways that Rockstar could take this, but lastly, I think I should say that obviously going to Area 69 will be a risk, with the police being smarter than ever and pretty much completely redesigned and using new tactics, escaping Area 69 is going to be more difficult than ever, and uh, it'll make for a lot, a lot of fun gameplay hours for us. So with that, guys, I hope I uh, covered this topic fairly well. As always, please tell me what you think in the comments below, and uh, continue submitting your topics for future GTA 5 Talk episodes. With that, I will uh, see you guys next time.